Hey everyone, it's Joe Goliath from The Automator, and today I have kind of an interesting new approach for a video. I have a challenge to a bunch of people, you included. Uh, let's jump into it here. So first off, what is the challenge? So I want you to list the top five favorite scripts that you personally have either written or adapted and tweaked or whatever. It doesn't matter you wrote the whole entire thing, right? But what have you come up with? Uh, the next step is, of course... Um, who am I challenging? So obviously all the hero members. So each of you guys, you know, give us something if you're working on it. Um, Axel Fulbler, I'm going to go through this list here just to explain who they are. So Axel Fulbler has a V2 auto hockey channel. Uh, Chunji has a V1 auto hockey channel. Donaldson also has a auto hockey V1 channel. I think maybe he does V2 now. Um, Descalada, the author of UIA and ACC libraries and stuff in V2. Uh, we all know Geek Dude. All know and love Geek Dude. Doing amazing stuff. If you got the time, Geek Dude, I'd love to get your response. Geo, if you go find it, I'll try to remember to put the link in the description of an interview I did with him, did amazing stuff with auto hockey for his family-owned business, and I would love to see what he thinks are his best ones. He also led our webinar on neural networks. Um, obviously, Hellbent, he's still doing V1 code, but he's got a crazy amount of stuff and is often on our on our calls and channel. Um, Irfan, or Zio, who wrote Rafadium. Irfan, yeah, I can assume Rafati will be one of those, but um, I'd love to know what else you've been working on. And then, of course, next is Isaiah and Raptor X, right, who also works with us here at The Automator. Those two guys both work full-time here. And uh, uh, so this is going to be a fun one because I, I learned a, a long, long time ago from Isaiah's, but he has a lot of other stuff. His toolkit, I'm going to guess, is going to be in that list, but I'm very curious what else is going to be there. Not to forget Jackie, like Jackie had done a ton of webinars with me. He still, we still have calls regularly, um, almost, every, well, not every week, but we try. We have him very regularly. He's, we just haven't been doing, you know, webinars or podcasts, but um, he still works with Auto AutoHotKey. Um, Jack Dunning, we're going to be taking over some stuff for Jack, but um, I'm still curious, Jack, if you want to send me a list of the scripts that you think are the best ones you've written, uh, I, I'd love to get that list and you can reply to an email, or whatever. Um, Jean Alon, the author of Quick Access Pop Up, right? Obviously, QAP is going to be in there. Maybe your clipboard editor one also. Maybe your CSV libraries. Like I'm, I'm just throwing out the stuff I know that I use. Uh, Jeezwig done a crazy amount of stuff with a very advanced stuff without a hotkey. So I don't know how you're going to pick Jeezwig. You got some really advanced stuff. Um, Juho Lee, he has an auto hockey channel. I've invited him on to my channel, but he said he's just really, really busy. So I don't know if he'll get a chance to reply, but that'd be awesome. Hmm, Lexicos, who is that? Maybe, I figure he probably won't make a video, but if he wants to just write a list of the ones that he thinks are the most interesting and fun that he's created, maybe list auto hockey as the number one since you've done so much for it. Uh, May Strieth, obviously, he you know, still does some projects with me and for me. He doesn't do as much stuff in Auto Hotkey now, but he still, uh, you know, has worked out in the past and has some great stuff. Like his M function is phenomenal, and I rely on that a lot. Um, any of you guys that are either, you know, YouTube subscriber or a newsletter. So if you guys want to um, write that list to me, and I'll get into here in the next slide here how you can reply. Uh, Ryan Wells, really, really bright guy. Um, he does a lot of stuff with marketing, but he also thinks outside the box and uses a lot of different approaches. He's come up with a lot of really fun and interesting stuff. Looking forward to seeing what he says. Spawnova has a really advanced auto hockey channel. He he automates a lot of gaming, but the coding that he does, I think it's still V1. He does really advanced stuff. The Private Chef, Steve, you know who you are, um, Steve. He's a buddy of mine, but he also programs an auto hockey. Love to hear that. Obviously, Tab Nation, another guy we've done a lot of videos with. Um, Tom, you, you know, you're... Chrome extension, I think, might be qualifying that one, right? That's a great one that you've done. Um, Tank, who is the admin of the Auto Hockey Forums, right? Um, who is a good friend of mine and a tenant of mine, um, interesting enough. But he's done some wicked, crazy stuff with Auto Hockey. And um, Walden Automation. I haven't seen you know too many releases from you lately. Maybe I'm missing them, but um, I know you, you have an Auto Hockey channel, so I'd love to hear from you. All right, so how do you reply? You can respond in other ways. If you have a YouTube channel, just record the video, put it on your YouTube channel. If not, make one, right? It's fun. Um, you can give me, you know, record it and then send me a link. Don't send me the video, but send me, you know, put it in Dropbox or somewhere where it can be stored to send me the link. Um, let me know if I can share it on my channel. Now, I'm going to have, I think, too many to just push on to my channel, but maybe what we'll do is we'll push them there and then we'll have the links and we'll do one video and give people links that are not just all pushed up randomly. Um, so if someone wants to find them, they can find them. But let me know if, if it's okay to share it there or just record a video and then I'll record a video summarizing what you did, right? Um, you could do a blog post also and just explain, you know, your top five. Uh, and obviously give me the link to the blog post or email me that list of the five. Uh, and then I'll I'll probably either record a video or just share it somewhere on the automator 
of a link because I think there's going to be a really, really interesting thing. Also, obviously, if it's possible, give me the code if it's something that we can share. If it can't, we understand, right? We all know sometimes things are privileged. But um, if you can share the code, that'd be awesome because we want to learn. Now, to kick it off, I'm going to go through my top five, right? I did my homework. Obviously, my window snipping tool, this is where you can grab it. Um, it's a phenomenal tool for just doing simple window snipping with OCR. And also, you can save files to your desktop if you want. You can automatically attach them to emails. It also does OCR and it does translations. Great tool. Prompt Assistant is our newest tool that we're just really starting to tap it uh, as far as it's like a simpler version of Quick Access Pop-Up. That's super simple, although we're really looking at adding some functionality to it, but to be able to add snippets to your library and then have those text snippets anywhere you want, we're really thinking about being able to also launch folders, files, programs. well, basically launch a script and that script would do whatever you want, right? So that'll be pretty cool if we have that. The Excel function library, Irfium just finished converting this to V2. So very soon we'll have both a V1 and a V2 for the Excel function library. And then we're going to like bring that library into Prompt Assistant to make it easier for people, everyone to use. Hot key string lookup tool. This is a great script we wrote. It's one of my favorite ones. Like when you first start using auto hot key, a lot of us create either hot keys or hot strings and we add a bunch of them, then we can't remember them. Well, the hotkey string lookup tool, you can hit a hotkey and it'll pull up and you can either type for a search or you know look at the list however you want. You can filter by hotkey or hot string or by file. It's very simple, easy to use. Um, it's a must have if you don't already have it, like if you use hotkeys or hot strings. It's great when you can't remember what it is, snap, you can pull it right up. And the last one is automate my task, even though, and it's kind of funny because we've spent a lot of time on this tool, it's still V1, we're trying to get it V2, but it's more complicated than you might think. It's one I don't actually recommend to people because I don't like, it really kind of is image search, but it's super simple to use and it writes you, it's a syntax writer also, right? It gives you the syntax for your scripts. Um, I'm just not, I really don't like imitating a human. And when you look for images and then you go to click them, you're imitating a human. It's just not a very reliable thing. I use it for very quick and dirty things to get it done right away. But I don't suggest people on average to do it for something that's you're relying on or because also when you give it to someone else, it's going to break, right? It's just one of the things the way they are. So hope you enjoyed that. Please write back. I'd love to hear from you. Watch for the channel for the replies from people because I think we're going to get a really interesting insight from this is a lot of diverse group here, right? And, and who and what they work with and stuff. So looking forward to it. Thanks everyone for watching. Um, like the video if you think this is a really fun, interesting thing. I have other plans for other challenges. So if you think this is fun and interesting, let me know and I'll continue to do them and we'll check it out. Cheers. Have a great day. Bye.